Welcome. How do you like our Sunrise Palace? <laughs> you seem awfully calm. What do you hope to achieve after going to all this trouble? You came at the right time. We just finished bringing him over from the Futures Institute of Technology. The Futures Institute of Technology? That's where I was sealed away. Indeed. The path was open thanks to my associates removing the binding brands. You seem to be under the impression that Gunvolt is the ruler of the Primal Dragons. However, Gunvolt was not the only one who was sealed away in that facility. There was a secret room hidden by a powerful barrier. We needed to remove the binding brands in order to break that seal. You all really should have been more suspicious of Sumeragi. You're saying that someone else is the true ruler? Precisely. He's on the top floor, right above here. It's only polite that I take you to meet him. Layla, wait here a moment. I'll be right back. <laughs> This little one is Mobius, the true ruler of the Primal Dragons. The true ruler? Unlike you, who awakened to your power, this one was born a Primal Dragon. No, something beyond Primal Dragons and Septimus. He has attained an Octima. He is truly the child of hope for us adepts. An Octima? Uh, what's going on? What is this energy? Is it dragon radiation? No, it's even stronger. Fascinating. As the original primal dragon, it appears that you are attuned to him. Damn! What? <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh. GB, are you okay? Your primal dragon minds are resonating. It appears you received a vision. <laughs> Mobius's astral order ability allows him to see innumerable fates and choose one of his liking. In other words, he has the power to determine the future. For now, the glaives are keeping his power sealed away but it allows him to manipulate probability to bend fate towards any possible future. This impacts every square inch of our world. Should this little one wish for a fate of chaos and disorder, just what would become of this world? And should he suddenly awaken as a primal dragon, dragon radiation would be released across the world, transforming countless adepts into primal dragons. In either case, the world would be on the path to total destruction. His power could never be entrusted to Sumeragi, which is why we will take control of him before he awakens. That is a Thames's goal. Recently, we were able to confirm that Layla Jin is able to influence Mobius in his sleeping state and control his astral order. Even with Mobius under our control, we won't be able to prevent primal dragons from awakening in mass. We will be able to guide this little one into using his astral order to create a more ideal world, even if only slightly. Your words are no different than Sumeragi's old rants. We'll never let you use Mobius to bend the world to your will. Don't you dare compare us to you lot. We merely wish to work with Mobius to guide the world along its proper path. I hear what you're saying, but in the end, your ideal world is one with you as its ruler. You can make it sound as noble and righteous as you want, but the future of the entire world should not be determined by one man's ego. Even if you make an ideal world with Mobius, it won't be a world where anyone but you gets a say in those ideals. I take it you won't be cooperating then? I honestly never expected you to truly understand our mission.
you will understand once you bask in the light of our glorious future. After all, it is a king's duty to enlighten his subjects. You are welcome to try and stop me if you wish. Besides, you're the ones responsible for defending this nation, are you not? Come then, let us battle. The... Should Mobius awaken as he is now, adepts all over the world will transform into primal dragons. No matter what happens to you, Gunner, his awakening cannot be avoided. Keep on fighting. Therefore, is it not our duty to ensure that the future takes the best possible path? I know you have no reason to trust me. This is yours. So I will change it from the inside. The king. Such a leisurely pace. The world is on the precipice. Let's go, DB. Hitting 90 second right. Divine Ruin Heresy! Uh... Piss of Destruction! I know your past, Gungo. You once chose a single girl over the fate of the world, putting this country in danger. This is where we part. Legitima Futura! I thought you of all people would understand my position. And so, I still worry about the decisions I made about you. Is this really it? Zed, your ideals are too extreme. Since you've only seen our country from the outside, you all may not realize this, but Sumeragi is more than just its bad parts. They've supported this country for hundreds of years. When something goes wrong, if we work together, talk it out, and really think it through, we can find a solution. Sometimes they make mistakes, and there have been plenty of failures, but we have always been able to get through them in the end. With enough time, I'm sure we can even do something about Mobius. Well, it was pretty bad that they kept Mobius a secret, even from Shadow Yakumo. True, but part of that was a failure on our side to properly supervise them. I'm gonna rip the top brass a new one when I get back. For now, I have to do something about Mobius. We can talk it out with you guys later, okay? It's never too late to talk, even after a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! Oh, oh crap! The glaives can't handle this much! What's happening? No, it can't be! Our battle! The power of our Septimus clashing was enough to awaken Mobius! Was that the trigger?
GB, Kirin, this is really bad news. The world's adepts will all turn into primal dragons at this rate. Things are even worse than that. Astral Order's power will plunge the world into chaos. No! Damn it. Our Jin was supposed to have his consciousness under our control. <laughs> Inoctima is no mere power. It's a force of nature. A Septima could never stand a chance against it. That's why I'll seal Mobius away with my fetters. Your power may have been able to seal away those primal dragons, but do you think it stands a chance against an Octima? We won't know until we try. Let's go, GV. You're right. Let's do this! <laughs> to awaken the primal dragon's ruler and the dragon saviors will be the ones to stop him we need to get him back to sleep dragon king who brings despair to our world allow my fetters to return me to where you belong your fate is sealed Do this! I can seal Mobius away if we keep this up! <laughs> what? My fetters... were broken? Don't touch her! G... GB! No! We... TV! My body is... Kidding! Stay away from me! What? She's taken over. The Azure Striker? Mobius is... capable of absorbing other primal dragons?
and me, along with Astral Order. What? What are you saying, JV? My body has already been corrupted by Mobius. I can't disobey him. Mobius has also shown us he can release your radiant fetters. We only have one option left. N no, JV, I can't do that. We just said we were going to work together with everyone. We decided that together. I'm so sorry, Kidding. But this is the only way to stop Astral Order. Is there really no other way? I won't have any regrets if you're the one who takes me down. Kidding. Kill me! No regrets, my ass! Just I can't get your own way to do it! You have so much work left to do, GB. We can't afford to let Mobius die either! That wasn't so bad. Spending my days in the dimension of these dragon sabers. It's a shame that I couldn't see it through to the end. But I'm satisfied. Leaving things up to you. Enough already with that bullcrap! Me? Any partner of mine should show some more guts. I'm not the only striker with the strongest Sentima. Even without my... I can control it! Astral Order! Fetters, we're still a team. What is this thing? Don't give up! Carnal Dunbar! What is this? Swamp? I still find it. The power of the sun. They're going to train. With this, you should be able to put up a fight against Astro Order. You caused a great amount of harm by leaving Mobius here and hastening his awakening. I didn't have faith in it. Or anyone. Let this be the first step towards a time. You are not bad, huh? Jeezy, just endure it a little bit longer. King of dragons who makes a plaything of fate. My fetters will- I'm sorry. I can't. Knock this battle! You must keep on fighting! Consciousness has. He is no longer Gunvolt. Orders hold on the world. Yeah, I'm sorry, GV. I couldn't do anything at all. It's fine. You shouldn't worry about it. If I survived here, 
That faded ruin I saw would inevitably come to pass. This is for the best. I'll leave the rest to you.